Hello, my children. Long time, no talent. I haven't been making videos in fucking forever because I've been dealing with some health issues. Lesions on the brain, lesions on the brain. You don't want lesions on the brain. Anyway, today we're going to be talking about... Hey guys, it's Todd here, and I'm actually going to be talking to you guys not in character today. Yes, it might come as a bit of a surprise, but the has no talent I am online is a little bit different from the person I am in real life. Well, we're very similar. Has no talent is basically my personality turned up to an 11. Let's say that me in real life is somewhere around a 7 or an 8. I'm uh, only going to be doing one take when I record this, so if I make mistakes, you're going to have to put up with them. Anyway, I just wanted to speak to you guys today about some of my health stuff and the future of the channel. If you weren't already familiar from reading some of my comments, I've been quite sick for a pretty long time. For about four and a half years, I hadn't been given a diagnosis, but in the last year and a half, I actually was able to get one. Two of them, actually. Anyway, the first diagnosis I received was that of fibromyalgia, which is a disease that isn't very well understood, but the long and short of it is basically you feel pain constantly, and the nerves in your body are hypersensitive to everything. In general, this means I get really sore and stiff, and I just have a general sense of shittiness all the time. Now, that diagnosis I got last year, but earlier this year, in about March, I lost a significant amount of vision in my left eye, and I realized from the symptoms it was probably something called optic neuritis. Now, optic neuritis is an inflammation of the optic nerve leading to your eye and is generally caused by multiple sclerosis. I was pretty concerned about this and went to the hospital and they sent me to an ophthalmologist and the ophthalmologist in turn sent me for an MRI to see if I had any brain lesions, which is the hallmark symbol of multiple sclerosis. As you can probably guess from my introduction, the results of the MRI were not good and it did in fact show some brain lesions and it's actually the second MRI I've had that has shown brain lesions. Now, the chance of having MS when you have optic neuritis in conjunction with brain lesions is over 70%. So I really have no illusions about what that means. I did eventually make it to a neurologist, uh, and he thinks that considering my symptoms, I probably have both fibromyalgia and MS simultaneously. Thankfully, though, my MS progression is pretty slow and I almost never get any numbness in my limbs or anything like that so at least in this point in time it doesn't seem like I'm going to lose the ability to walk or anything like that and that's pretty good news now the reason my MS is progressing so slowly is likely to do with my extremely healthy lifestyle. Soon after I first got sick and started showing symptoms, which was back in February of 2015, I started reacting really horribly to pretty much all foods, chemicals, drugs, and things of that nature. Due to that, I radically changed my diet. I quit smoking, I quit doing drugs, and I quit drinking. I was an alcoholic at the time. Anyway, doing all these things had a profound effect on my health. I lost like almost 130 pounds, and not only that, my symptoms started to get less intense. Unfortunately, though, to stay feeling good, I have to have an extremely strict diet, and also I can't take medicine. In no particular order, the things I can't eat are this. Junk food, meat, oils, any complex carbs, so any bread or anything like that, any starches in general, like potatoes I can't have, things with vinegar in it, so I can't have condiments, and I can't have dairy, which out of everything actually makes me feel the worst, and I'm like 99% certain that dairy is actually horrible for you, regardless of who you are, but anyway, that's a discussion for another time. Pretty much any cooked food I can't have. So what can I actually eat? Well, I basically can only eat raw fruit and raw vegetables. I also eat some raw nuts and I eat raw eggs as well, but not too frequently. Normally not more than one a day. This lifestyle change isn't really a symptom in and of itself, but it does illustrate just how drastically my life has changed. 
And in case anyone is curious, changing my diet was like a hundred times more difficult than quitting smoking drugs and alcohol combined. That number is no exaggeration, by the way. Quitting those things was easy peasy in comparison to changing your diet. So anybody who's struggling with their diet, I fucking get you, man. So, that leads us to now, and to the channel, and while recently my symptoms have been progressing somewhat, and the major thing that's bothering me right now is just that I'm super fucking dizzy all the time, unfortunately this gets brought on by looking at computer monitors, so yeah, being on the computer makes me sick, there's no other way to put it. The thing that bothers me the most is looking at text on the computer, so writing scripts is pretty much impossible. I actually wrote uh, the script I'm reading now on a typewriter instead of a computer, which I fucking love, and I wish I would have been introduced to sooner. I fucking love typewriters. Typewriters are so fucking cool. I'm super passionate about them. I like repairing them. I like restoring them. They're fucking awesome. <laughs> But playing games makes me sick, and it honestly always has. Those marathon sessions where I had to sit there and play Dishonored 2 for like 8 hours straight fucked me up so goddamn bad. I don't even really have a way to explain it. Like, sitting there like that for so long, all tense, just really exasperates all of my symptoms. And what you guys don't really understand is that every time I've worked on a video like that, I would spend the rest of that night and probably the next day all fucked up lying in bed dizzy and just in a ton of pain. Yeah, so how do you like that deal? Let's play a fucking game I hate for eight hours straight so I can make myself feel like shit and be bedridden for two days just so people can bitch at me later. What a privilege. But I don't mean to make it sound all bad because there's been so much good that has happened from making this channel. I got to meet Leo K, who is a fellow YouTuber and who has become one of my closest friends. He's helped me so much and has always been there for me since the very beginning. And so many nights where I would like break my diet or do something and get fucking seizures from it and things like that, he'd be there to talk to me and to help me through it and make sure I was okay. We've talked about life, philosophy, and just so many things. Leo K is my brother, and you can't put a price on that. Not only that, but I feel so honored that I've been able to chat to the people at Arcane, talking to Raphael, Cole, Antonio, and especially Dinga Bacaba, who has been such a wonderful privilege to talk to these guys. To think that some of my critiques were actually used to patch the game and to improve it for hundreds of thousands of players makes me feel so humble and amazing. And even though it was fleeting, I feel so filled with pride and joy that I could make my own little footprint in this crazy video game world. More importantly than that, though, I got to meet and learn about Dinga Bacaba, the person, and it's been such an honor. He truly is just an amazing designer, and not only that, but just a truly unique and amazing person. He's got a heart that is just so huge, and he is the most passionate person I have ever talked to about anything in my life. I'm actually not kidding. This guy has talked to me until 5 a.m. his time on Skype about video games when he had to work the next day in the morning and he didn't want to end the conversation. I forced him to end the conversation so he could go to bed. He just wanted to keep talking because that's how fucking passionate he is and it's impossible to listen to him talk and to not feel inspired. If there's anyone who I trust with Dishonored or Deathloop or Arcane, it's Dinga Bacaba. He has made me a believer in the future and he is genuinely an amazing person. He's gone out of his way just to check on me and he's always been concerned about me as a person and my health and he's just sincerely a really kind and nice man the industry is a better place with him in it and i trust him for the future whatever that ends up being the most important thing that this channel and Dishonored has given me, though, is my amazing and loving, caring, and beautiful girlfriend. Yeah, boys, we all dream about meeting the gamer girl online, but I fucking did it. I actually stealth-killed people in a video game until a girl fell in love with me. Miracles do happen. A victory for the whole team. Truly, though, I can't express in words how grateful I am to Arcane because without them, I never would have made my video, and to Leo K, who is who I actually met my girlfriend through. So thank you both so much from the very bottom of my heart. 
How do you even try to quantify something like that in words, you know? You can't really. Love is so complicated, you can't really do it justice with just a few thank yous. I even have to appreciate Dishonor 2 in that, because it may have pissed me off, it may have drove me insane, it may have given me entire days where I was fucked up in bed, but at the end of it all, it gave me hurt. So I fucking love that game more than any other game on Earth. So what does this mean for the future? Well, I'm sorry, but I have no current plans to continue making gaming videos, at least not in the foreseeable future. If for whatever reason my illness improves a lot, then you may see me back in time. It, it's sad to leave, but in all honesty, the act of making videos was never really that enjoyable for me. My favorite videos to make were my Why I Love Arcane video, uh, the song I wrote, and the recordings of me playing Command and Conquer against my brother, or the Battlefield 1 video playing with my best friend. Those videos mean more to me than all the skill videos combined. Just because when I think of them, I think of a time where I enjoyed myself and just had a good time without dying in front of the screen for 8 hours pulling my hair out. However, this does not mean that I am hanging up my hat and disappearing into obscurity. It just means that my life has changed and a new path will be forged going forward into the future. I want to focus on the things in life that truly interest me, the things in life that bring me joy and the things that help me grow as a person. I don't want to focus on negativity. I don't want to focus on things that frustrate me. I want to focus on things that are so much more than that. You know... I've changed since the channel started. I've grown so much more positive and calm and mature, and I just really don't have it in me to sit there bitching about stuff anymore. Like, I, I want to live by the world's happiness, not by its misery. I want to focus on growing and changing and trying to figure out the deepest understanding I can about myself. Because of this, I'm going to be making a new channel. A channel where I can talk about the things that really matter to me, like personal growth, philosophy, spirituality, and everything in between. I want a place where I can share my views about life and the world, and where other people can share themselves as well. A place where we can all come together and share our thoughts and life and love and the world and grow and learn about ourselves in the process. When I start making content for this channel, I will do a couple cross posts on this channel, and I invite you all to check them out. It will be nothing like what you would expect from me, and many of you won't be interested, and that's okay. No hard feelings. Life's too short to sweat about the small stuff, so don't worry if you don't want to check it out. If, however, you enjoy what I'm doing there, then please come and join me at the new channel. There's so much more to life than negativity, so much more to be passionate about than just games. Those things that I said before mean so much more to me than games. Just thinking about the possibilities, it fills me with a sense of passion and joy, something that, I'm sorry to admit, I never really felt while making video game videos. Life is beautiful, and I believe that people are inherently good. There's so much joy to be found on this earth, so much love, and so much good we can do. I want to live my life like that. I want to put my energy into that. I don't want to sit in front of a monitor anymore, wasting away and feeling sorry for myself, and neither should you. You should live every day of your life being passionate about something, and if you don't know what that is yet, then keep searching. Take your time and figure out what you're passionate about. Keep pushing yourself to grow and to learn and to become a better person than who you were yesterday. Appreciate the beauty of the earth and see the good in the people around you. Don't be afraid of that. I'm here and I believe in you. After all, you are my children. Now go make your Papa Talon proud. <laughs>